I wasn't going to make a video at first because this is an embarrassing situation. But um, I'm making this video to bring awareness to domestic violence because there are women going through it every day. The first time a person show you who they are, please walk away. If he shows you that he'll put his hands on you, you must walk away. You must. Let me be an example. You know? Um, I just ask that everybody keeps me in their prayers for my healing. I don't really want to make a long video because I don't really know what to say. I just want, I just want prayers. That's it. I have a broken nose. My bone is broken. My teeth are missing. I've got bruises all over my body. Just, just please pray for me. What's up? It's Sunday, and I am here with Ugly Money Podcast. That, that, that ugly money. What up, what up, what up? I am Ugly Money Nietzsche, and welcome to the Ugly Money Podcast. Our guest for the evening has a very moving story, and we're going to dive deep into it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, show your love for Sunday. Hey. So, how you doing? I'm well. Yeah. This, this, this interview is highly anticipated. Highly, it is. It's a lot of people that want to, want to, uh, want to know, and they got a lot of questions that need answering. A lot. So I guess my first question, uh, you know, just to, just to get into it is, uh, who is Sunday? Uh, well, my real name is Tajay. Tajay. Yes, Tajay, mm. which I would love to be addressed as, because Sunday was my stripper name. So, oh, okay. Right, uh, uh -huh. which is something I need to change. But, um, shit, I'm an outgoing chick, mm -hmm. um, smart. Amen. Um, blessed, God-fearing, uh... It's a lot I could really say about myself, from? to be honest. I'm from South Bay, Indiana, but I was raised out here. Okay. Clay County. Yeah. Clay County. Clay County. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Clay County. So, um, you, so, uh, you know, uh, you said uh, you danced before. Mm -hmm. And moving forward in your life, uh, you know, what are you currently doing? Like, Honestly, right now, I'm not really doing anything. Um, mm -hmm. I'm actually trying to sign up for school. It's a school out in Marietta. I want to go to cosmetology school. Um, honestly, I'm trying to just, like, heal right mm -hmm. now. I need a lot of healing, a lot more than I thought. So, uh, honestly, I'm just trying to, like, keep to myself a little bit, stay around my family, and just chill. Like, I'm not even trying to, like, work too much, to be honest with you. I need to get my hair right. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that because at the, at the end of the day, you know, you, you have to allow that time. You have to allow, you know, your, your mind. Right. Your spirit. You know, not, I mean, yeah, wounds may heal, but when we'll, and we'll get into that. Right. But, um, you know, I, I just think it's important. And mental health is definitely important. Ooh. And I think sometimes it gets, it, it doesn't get addressed as much as it should in the black community. At all. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and it was so crazy as I wish, something I wish people would understand is that I had shit going on before this incident. Wow. You know what I mean? Like, I've been suffering from depression for since sixth grade. I got diagnosed officially at 21 in a mental hospital, you know? And wow. That shit is just, it's, it's serious. Like, oh, it's tough. It's, a lot of people don't understand it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, tell us about to 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 some people that might not understand depression and, and what mental health is and, and 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 how you know how it affects your everyday life uh depression is not something that you can just pray off I, I don't like when people say that you actually have to go through the works which is getting therapy talking to somebody and you know getting through certain shit um the everyday pro process with depression uh that's a tough one right there. Yeah. Uh, not everybody is as strong. Um, I've had, I've definitely had my weak moments where you know I've been suicidal and like that shit is not just anything you can just hurry up and get over. You know oh. what I'm saying? Like it, it take time for sure. But it also you also also have to choose. You know what I'm saying? Happiness. Like you have to, even though that shit may be so hard. Like you have to. You got to kind of like dig yourself up out the hole. Like you have to. Wow. 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 Well, you know, um, 
it, it's 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 uh in our community I, I would say like i said you know before mental health is just is just something that is uh, a lot of times goes unaddressed right. a lot of times it uh it, it goes under uh, misunderstood yeah and, you know i just think that you know what what us as influencers especially for me and too yeah definitely definitely you know what i'm saying i think it goes both ways yeah. i just think that sometimes people just kind of brush it under the floor you yeah. know what i'm saying and uh and, and, and unfortunately it's like that uh moving forward uh let's rewind and go back to that particular evening mm. that uh that we all have come to uh to wonder about Ooh. you know okay is it uh is it okay if we go there it's all right all right well, you might need a drink you mm. might need a drink for this i might need <laughs> you might need a drink for oh, okay this. Dre the gemini go ahead and, uh, she Thank might need you. to pour up some of this pomade right quick to get us a drink yeah let me oh, that too, I might just, you, know what I'm <laughs> you know what i'm saying uh we we we, we gonna we're gonna dive a little deep yeah or whatever and uh then take your time you know what i'm saying we, we don't we, this 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 ain't uh this ain't something that uh it's scripted. Oh, no. Nah. It ain't nothing that is, uh, you know, and it, it, we're we going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to be going into the super detail? Let's go. Let's go. If we're going, we're going, we're going as far as you, as you feel comfortable. Okay. At the end of the day. You know okay. what I'm saying? I mean, because some shit I already told. You know what I mean? You, you tell us what you. But, but, but. Tell it. Okay. Um, make a long story short, like. At first off, I can't really talk about too much because it's a some legal shit going on. Understand. You know what I'm saying, right? But um, I was dealing with a person, um, cool dude in the beginning, had some rough shit going on as well. Um, when I say rough shit, I mean like aggressiveness a little bit. You know what I'm saying, a little push there, push there, mm -hmm. that type of shit. Um, I'll. <sighs> it's okay. Take your turn. I Ubered over there, chilling. Motherfucker was did some shit that, you know what I'm saying, we already talked about he not supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. That makes him act differently, you know what I'm saying? And, and he get aggressive on that shit. Mm -hmm. And um Is that like like alcohol or drugs or uh, certain certain a substances? Drug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um mind you, before I already came to the scene, I you know what I'm saying, I was a little lit myself. Yeah. Um, got over there, you know, we, we drank some more, mm -hmm. chilling, regular, regular shit, go upstairs, we do what we do, having fun, blase, blase, next thing you know, we arguing. And so like, at this point in time, before, before you got to the point of being upstairs, mm -hmm. everything was cool? Shit was cool downstairs, I cool, kid you not, cool, cool, I cool promise day. you it was. Cool night. Um, that motherfucking Hennessy. It's yeah. something that I don't need to be sipping on. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. It's okay. not for me. But, um, yeah, we go upstairs, do whatever, and next thing you know, I got up and I threw up. And then when I threw up, like, I don't even, to be just on some G shit, like, yeah. I don't really remember, like, how we started arguing, but now, like, we're arguing and shit is, like, hella intense. And then, like, it got so intense, like, I remember him going out the, um, going out the door. And I had shut the door and I had pushed the dresser in front of the door because I'm like, I don't feel like arguing with you. But he said he was like trying to get in and shit. And I didn't want him breaking the door off the hinges, so I moved the dresser. We arguing still. We arguing upstairs for the longest. We're in the other room now. Then next thing you know, like we downstairs and we arguing. And when I went up, I don't know what the fuck I went upstairs and did, but yeah. when I went upstairs, I seen him going out and like leaving. And so, I mind you, that's not like his house. That's like, like the spot, this trap or whatever. So I'm okay. like, I'm not going to like stay there. Like, no, what the fuck? So I go outside and I'm arguing. We still arguing. And then, you know, I guess I don't, I was in space arguing, blase. So, so what happened? So while you are, you, you guys were arguing in uh -huh. the house and he tries, does he, does he leave or he's trying to like, does he try to leave or he just tries to go out and get some fresh air or? I mean, like, I just know like, he was outside. Like, he okay. went outside. He was mm -hmm. walking outside. And then I walked up to him. I was like, you're not going to leave me here. And So he was trying to leave you because you had Ubered over there. So he was trying to, like, leave you at the... At uh, the uh, yeah. And wow. then he, like, I guess that shit pissed him off. And he grabbed me. I had a high... It's crazy. I had a ponytail, like, kind of like this, but it was in a bun. Oh, wow. He grabbed me by my ponytail, drug me in the house. and was like, oh, you want to act tough today? 
and then motherfuckers just start going in. Like, so, so let's 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 definitely slow down there. Um, so like at any point in time, like, did you see this coming? Like, oh, did no. you did you would you ever? I need to smoke. This is heavy. <laughs> um, did you ever like see that that move coming? You know, as far as taking it to the point of honestly, no. Physically, ashtray, please. Honestly, no, because we've never gotten in an altercation that heavy. So, you know, a part of me want to say it's the shit that he was on. Yeah. And then the other part of me, like, nah, bitch, you know what you were, you know what the fuck you did, like, because that shit is crazy. Like, yeah. my teeth are gone. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you have to be hitting a motherfucker real hard. Like, I had no roots in my mouth. Everything was gone. Like, you got to be hitting a motherfucker real hard. I mean, like, you zoned out. Like, you had to have. So, um, going, going back going back to that, you know, that, that, that area, uh, you and, you, you and him are outside. He then, in turn, puts his hands on you mm -hmm. by grabbing your hair and pulling you into the house by your hair. Mm -hmm. you, and, you, you and him are outside. He then, in turn, puts his hands on you mm -hmm. by grabbing your hair and pulling you into the house by your hair. Mm -hmm. what, what happens when you get into the house? Uh, we drug me in the house. We were like still, we were in the front room by the door. And he just started beating me. And then I was like screaming like, stop, stop. Because like, I I don't know what the fuck this shit was about, but like I looked at him and like he was just like zoned out. I could tell this nigga was like gone. Like, and I'm like, stop. Cause like at this point, he just nigga janking my head down. I can hear my neck and shit cracking. And so I'm shit fucked up now. like. So, you know, it's just, it's a lot. Take your time. Take your time. Be honest with you. It's a lot because, like, <coughs> you just asked, and I didn't expect that shit at all. No one deserves it. Mm. Period. You know, um, men and women are designed different. We're designed physically different. Uh, there is really not much that a woman can do physically to hurt a man with her own bare hands unless he's just some puny little guy. Right. Um, men men are just designed to be a little stronger right. than women physically. Maybe not mentally. Maybe definitely not emotionally, but physically. And for someone to for someone to use that, knowing that to harm somebody else is, 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 is really sick and I'm not here to judge anybody but I'm probably going to judge but yeah. it is what it I is I understand but you know and, and what I thought was crazy as hell too is that like you know when I posted my video I posted my video because I'm like all right this shit is real out here so so before the, before the video uh-huh Go over like exactly like what what kind of injuries did you sustain from from this ordeal with with dude, like. What do you mean, like what? I mean, as far as like physical physical injuries, you know. What I'm oh. Saying? He fucked me up, like. He fucked my teeth up, my face up, like. So you lost your teeth in the front, your front teeth. Yeah, all three of them. I said, I'm like, if I take this out, I'm going to take it out, actually. Wow. Oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? Right, that shit crazy. Somebody needs some tissue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, but the shit, I just want, and, and I'm not trying to, like, be funny or none of that no, shit no, like no, that no, when no. I'm showing it. I just really want people to, like, look at my mouth, like, don't let shit get this far. And it's crazy because I don't even know how this shit even got this far. Because it's not like some shit that, you know, like the women who've been reaching out to me, like they go through this con consistently every day type shit. Like I, I'm just, it's just leave. Like that shit is. So teeth gone. Mm -hmm. What's going on with your eyes? Is it, you know, two black eyes. I think you seem, seem like you had. Yes, I did. Um, luckily, my eyes, I put, um, I used some like some home remedies. And it worked worked pretty well. Put some steak on my face and stuff like that. And then um, 
washing my face, creams, and things like that. So that helped. But yeah, I had definitely had two um two black eyes. My uh, nose right here was fractured. It's still like kind of is. It's like a hump in my nose. Wow. And I have like I don't even know what the hell this is, but it's like some bump that it has not went away yet. And I, yeah, I had blood clots and you know shit like that and scratches and you know that type of shit. But at any yeah. point in time, does like do you do you, are you thinking about anything while wow, while wow, this is going on? It's like survival going going through your mind. Is it is it anger? Is it is it sadness? Is it I, was, I can't believe is it shock? You know, during this moment. Um. Honestly, I was scared. I ain't even gonna lie. Wow. That's, because, that's, that's, um, that's fair. Uh, I don't know. Like, when he wouldn't stop, like, I'm like, all right, this song, this is, is he on some different shit right now? Like, what's going on? Stop hitting me. You're not stopping. And wow. you yanking my damn head down, and I told you, I just, I heard my neck cracking. I'm like, all right, like, come on, like, stop. You're not stopping. Like, then like when you done, like I touch my mouth and I'm like, what the fuck? I'm thinking I'm tripping though. I'm thinking like, you know, whatever. He left the scene. Like, I look in the mirror and I just ran. Like, I ran out the crib. Like, bitch. And then what's crazy is like, thank God that when I was running down the street like a security guard, I don't even know where the fuck she came from, but she was in around in the neighborhood. She was pulling out as I was, I had just fell. And she got, she opened up the door. She was like, are you okay? And then like she, um, I was like, no, like take me down to my mother's house. Cause my mother, she doesn't stay too far from where he, you know, where mm -hmm. that place was. So took me there and man, I feel so terrible about the way my mother had to see me. Oh my God. Because it's like a, a random lady is dropping her child off at the door, bloody as hell. It's not your fault. It's just like, damn. That's a lot. It's not your fault. That's a lot. And unfortunately, sometimes people blame themselves. I don't want to blame myself. You shouldn't. I'm not. At all. I'm not. I ain't going to blame myself. Because the motherfucker, at the end of the day, you control you, man. So after, 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 you know, you, um, you get dropped off of your mother's house. Obviously, mm -hmm. you go to the hospital, and they basically give you the rundown of what you right. what you got going on. Which is crazy because everybody was like, "Why didn't you go to the hospital?" The fuck? That's the first thing I did. Went to the hospital. Yeah. The ambulance came and got me and everything. But um, uh, it took for me when I went to the bathroom in the hospital. And looked in the mirror. And um. I looked like a totally different person. And that shit was kind of hard to look at, in all honesty. I can only imagine. Because I'm like, damn. Like, my motherfucking teeth is gone. <laughs> like, they're gone for real. Like, you know. But, yeah. And then, I have to go lay back down in the bed, and I'm just like, all right, I just... It, 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 I don't. I don't know what to do. It is what it is. Like I don't. What the fuck. I don't. <laughs> it's all I was thinking, just like that. Yeah. Like what the fuck. I don't know. Like I mean, certain things. Just, we'll, we'll, we'll leave some. I was so there. shocked. I was just like, damn. <laughs> this is what's going on right now. This is my face. So um, <laughs> your mother. Your mother. Your mother was definitely um. Oh yeah. Supportive. The whole and way. And everything. The whole way. The whole way. That's like my number one. Supporter, and I feel bad today because I was kind of rude to my mother today, due to my own, you know, what I'm saying issues and what I got going on inside of me right now. So I do apologize to my mother. It's a process. It's a process. I apologize. That's not the mom. I apologize. So, so <laughs> after all this, make this video. Yes. Uh, how many days? I think it's two days. It's two days. No, later. a day later. A day, day later. later. A day later. Excuse me. Yeah. A day later. Yep. So what's going through your mind as you as you're Ooh. pulling out the phone? I wish I can almost show you the video before <laughs> I did it, cause this I if oh my god. I was recording and I stopped. I'm like, what the hell? Cause I'm looking at myself as yeah. I'm talking and I'm like, yo. 
nah, this is too much yeah. right here. This is a little bit too much. But then I start thinking again. I'm like, shit, like, no. I know it's other women going through this. Like, I ain't going to, you know, I ain't going to say no names, but somebody that I was, you know, cool with, like, she used to think it was funny when her her dude would, like, physically fight. And I'm like, no, that shit that. ain't funny. Like, because it don't be seeming like he playing with you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah. calm down. But, um, yeah, I just thought about that shit, and I was like, oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to do it. So I start recording myself again. <sighs> and I just posted it. I didn't even really know what to say. That's why in the video, I'm just like, just pray for me. Just yeah. pray for me. Because yeah. I didn't even really know what to say. I just wanted, I really wanted you to just look at me like, yo, look at me right now. Son, look at my old pictures and look at me right now. Yo, if you don't think this shit is, it, it, if you don't think this is real life, you're crazy. And if you're going through anything similar to what I said in that bio, it's time to cut. It's time to cut it off. I said not bio. I'm not bio. I mean, but caption. Mm -hmm. It's time to cut it off. It for sure is. Life is short. What do you say to women that are going mm -hmm. through this daily, weekly, mm -hmm. on the regular? What do you say to them? First off, well, I get a lot of these kind of messages like on a daily. It's crazy. But um, the first thing I would say is definitely tell a family member or somebody close what's going on, just so somebody is, you know, like aware, um, especially if you have like a male in your family who's like, you know, pretty about that. Yeah. Let him know what's going on. We'll, um, we'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there. Right. Yeah. But uh, it's, uh, to be honest with you, it's kind of different for, I feel like it's, it's kind of different for everybody because everybody can't just up and leave because he is crazy he may kill her like and you have to be careful you yeah. have to especially if you have children involved like you have to be crazy you have to be not not crazy but you have to be careful yeah. like in what i could say is like try to call the police get if you got to get help set them up like whatever the hell you got to do to get out go because that shit is serious and i know like sometimes and Women who, who are going through it, like, consistently, like, that shit is scary. You start to feel weak. Like, you wow. don't know what to do. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and if you was in any situation like I was when I was 19, like, shit, you don't know how to get out. How hard, how hard, what did the men in your family think? What did the men in your family say? How hard was it for them to, uh keep their composure um mm. because i mean obviously the guy's probably still alive which is you know okay so i i can only imagine what kind of uh reservations they had as far as being of the male species right because i don't know the guy and i kind of want to <laughs> see him every now and then if right that, right right you know um how hard was it for them um my cousins didn't they didn't appreciate the shit at all um, I can tell that it was kind of like a crazy situation for them as well because, you, of course, you want to beat his ass, but at the same time, you want to make sure your little cousin not go fuck with him again. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. you don't want to put yourself in a, in a messed up position. Yeah. Which I definitely get. Um, my brother, <laughs> he um, he actually made me um, edit the caption a little bit. <laughs> Um, motherfuckers probably ain't even noticed, but I said, um, I don't have no brothers or sisters or, or dad or nobody come see about me. He called me mad as hell. He was like, I can't even believe he said that. And to be honest with you, I got my brother, but me and him be going through shit, so I just was like, I don't have nobody right now. And I was kind of like emotional, well, you probably too. Alone. Yeah. I did. For sure I did. For sure. Oh, man, I did. Sometimes I still do. Because sometimes I just feel like people don't, like, totally get it. Like, you don't totally, like, dude, like, somebody that I was, I once told I love and all this other type of shit, like, just knocked my teeth out. Like, dude. <laughs> what, do you, what do you say to people that, they say, like, you know, crazy things, like, you know, you cause this on yourself? Because I, 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 I see, it's, it's just, it's just, it's weird. Sip to that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh... <clears throat> 
I, I, I don't know how they would think about those things, but what do you say to those kind of people? Ah, uh, fuck them. But, uh, <laughs> okay. But, um, that'll work. <laughs> but, uh, that type of shit, you don't really put on yourself unless it's like a few situations. Unless you didn't gave a motherfucker AIDS. Yeah. Shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And even then, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah. I mean, a motherfucker give me AIDS, you might want to beat her ass. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's no, another story. But, no. I didn't do anything to, like, deserve that for real, man. I didn't. I didn't. I don't. Well, that, this is just for the people that the, those people that, that that say those type of things or whatever. I'm totally empathetic of what you got, you know, going on. Like, um, you think there's anything that you could have done possibly in that moment to prevent it? Mm-hmm. Going look, looking back, accountability. But um, uh, yeah. If I'm being being a, a grown woman, yeah. And when I say yeah, I, I mean you know, uh. I didn't have to keep arguing. But to be real with you, like I told you, I was a little lit. Yeah. So it was like a just a crazy ass intense situation. Like, but if I had more control over this, I should have had more control over the situation. I wish I did. Because I just want my teeth goddamn back. It's not because of anything else.